Hey everybody, it's Apple and Spiritual, another reading. So this is just going to be a random cup for today, real time. Are you probably wondering, what's what are these beautiful things? So we are done with the Magician box. I got rid of it. It's done. So anything you were manifesting that whole time... You should be seeing now, right? But now we have these and we're going to choose what's the next matchbox. Comment down below. Okay. This one is the one that popped out right here, the chariot. Tell me if you... Uh, I didn't even get to show you, so you can't even comment down below. But these were the ones. We have the high priestess, strength. Judgment and the Tower. And the Chariot is the one that came out of my hand. So that is what's happening right now. Things are starting to move now. Here we go. I'm putting everything back in my cabinet. All right. Things are starting to move. The Chariot. Beautiful things are happening very quickly now. Very quickly with the chariot here. Hmm. The chariot. So it represents cancer energy. Yeah, as we know. So especially if you have cancer in your chart or something connected to cancer season could be significant where things were starting to move forward now. I feel like things are starting to happen really quickly now because of this chariot. Hmm. Hold on a second. I'm looking for something here. It's very healing. It's a healing time now. So we have willpower, ambition, focus, drive, leadership abilities. Man, I'm so comfortable right now. I got my blanket <laughs> over my legs right now in my chair. Um, So you could just be really comforted today, like just taking it easy. You could be tapping into your personal power, right? Your personal magic. And this represents overcoming any adversity and any obstacles in your path. And it says, don't give up, hang in there, right? Apollo. So it's about like tapping into your motivation, determination to succeed self-confidence and this gives me like the like the solar plexus chakra you know it's hard won victory so we all won we we're all winning right now if you're watching this you you won in some aspect of your life whatever you manifested you're hitting your goal you're tapping into your personal power obstacles and blocks are being removed you know this is this is the time for like momentum change now. You know, believe in yourself. It's connected to the high priestess and the star card. Cuz they all have like the like representing like starry skies, which is like wish fulfillment, dreams come true. Wow. Very beautiful here. It's like all connected. Focus and willpower. All right, baby. So we have the chariot. I can't believe the chariot popped out. I was not thinking that at all. So maybe you're just not thinking about this. You know what I mean? Like it just it's just going to happen. Like you're going to feel the energy just shift. Like real quick. I just ordered a new Oracle deck. I didn't, I just ordered it right now. And it's coming from Portugal. So I'm really excited. And um, 
I got like Oracle dice coming in as well. All right, baby. So what's happening right now today in the tea leaves? You guys love the big cup. And I just, I think I'm just dedicating this to tea leaves now. So yeah, let's find out what's going on for you right now in real life, real time. And I just heard Sage. So thank you for being here with me and let's see what's going on in this cup. So I'm seeing um, yin yang here. Something with duality could be rep representing like the light and dark side of you. We're getting a lot of Pisces energy here. So the 12th house has to do with spirituality, you know, going within a little bit it's like imagination could be like indulging in recreational things right it's kind of just weary drifty energy here i'm looking at this because it's like two tears came together here so you could be emotionally connected to somebody or you're about to share some kind of emotional connection with someone like very soon and hold on let me hold this a certain way because this has no i don't want it to break so we have hmm, i just heard bodybuilder so something with like bodybuilder but there is an angel here and there is a a pyramid here of enlightenment so you could be connected to like egypt or egyptian stuff we also have a bow tie here so there could be um <laughs> i just heard classical music but there could be like a formal event you're invited to like a party a celebration and there is um a teacup here which this is the tea leaf reading but this is a teacup so you could be having like a really nice conversation with somebody very soon I'm hearing within the next five days could be. We also have money here connected to uh, evil eye. So this could be, be careful with your money because people are envious of here, of, um, of your money right now. But you're being um, protected here, divinely guided towards your life purpose here with this pyramid. And pyramids have a lot of uh, electromagnetic energy in them. They were, I feel, um, were used to direct, you know, ships and stuff like, not ships in the ocean, like I'm talking about spaceships and stuff like that, um, used by the Anunnaki and stuff like that. So I feel like something with network, online, the world, like the electric magnetic pools we have, something's pulling you like guiding you and pulling you, whether you know it or not. All right, so we have a saxophone here. And we have an ink pot and a, a feather. So something with music. Very specific music with the saxophone here. Like jazz and like the blues and stuff like that. So maybe you're feeling kind of blue or... You know, not really yourself, but the ink pot and this feather represents you writing something or it, you could be signing something like a document that's very important, needs your signature. Your signature is needed on something and it's like permanent. So something that's about to be permanent in your life, you're signing off on. And I'm hearing an experiment here, something that you're experimenting so I am seeing a raindrop here and I am seeing um, an axe. So something with your emotions, your feelings, tears could be shed over something that was sabotaged here. You know, something that wasn't meant to be and it was cut out of your life. There could be someone that wants to rebuild something with you that sabotaged the connection here. I heard cheese grater. Hmm. So we have earth energy here. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. And we have a little sprout of manifestation. So something's growing. It's not fully developed, but it is growing here. I see a paddle. 
And when I think of a paddle, I think of like discipline, you know, how they would hit you with the paddle and stuff. So there could be arguments here or like discipline with something. Maybe you're disciplining yourself. You're setting boundaries with yourself or with someone else in your life. There's like discipline here. Could be abuse as well. Physical abuse. And there is a um, electricity here. I'm telling you, there's a lot of like electric vibrational frequency, electricity, electromagnetic things happening here. Some There's like a pool here with that number 19 is here. And we have letter E, letter C. We have a thumbs up here. And yeah, the hanged man, it's about sacrificing. A lot of sacrificing took place here. You've been sacrificing a lot. And I see the rider here, the rider on the Lamorin thing. Um, yeah, he's coming with a message. And it, this could be a very athletic person. A younger man is represented here. So it could be a younger man bringing something to you. Number seven. So it could be in seven days. The seventh. Chinese year of the rat. Capricorn. Okay, so we, oops, we have, um, what is that? That's a, it's like a dreidel here, spinning dreidel. So, you know, you could be Jewish or whatever, but it just represents like a chance, like a dice kind of thing. Like you're taking a chance on something or someone's taking a chance on you. Pisces here, Chinese year of the tiger. There is a, a, a chance here. It's kind of giving me like roulette, gambling on something. You're, you're taking a gamble on something or someone's taking a gamble on you. Again, there's another feather here. So you are divinely guided and protected. There's a letter S here. And. Hmm. I don't know what kind of bird this is. I'm trying to think. I know I've seen this before. It's like a pelican. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. It's like a pelican. It's like in the pelican family. Um, So it could represent like the ocean, the sea off the coast. Receiving a message from afar. Definitely some kind of message is coming to you here. And I heard shark attack. So maybe it's something that's going to catch you off guard. 71. And there is a fly here. Flies, you know, are decomposers. They get rid of the death, dead. They're like the decomposers of things. So something's breaking down and being removed from your life here. There is also a bridge here. So it's connecting you to something else that you want and it's being built. It's very sturdy, strong, and you're going on it and going across number one. So maybe in a month at the most, you're crossing something. And I'm hearing you're crossing something off your list. So if you have a list, you're crossing something off. I'm seeing a... Chinese year of the dragon here and a swan. So true love, you know, self-love, all the love you're giving and receiving, it's all genuine. It's all true here. There's also a grill here, you know, like you grill food. So something's heating up, you know, catching fire here. And when you grill stuff, you know, it's, it's like about bringing people together you know, it could represent the summer, but you could grow all year round. But, you know, like maybe there's like a party here you're being invited to, celebration, a get together. And you're going to feel good about it because it's next to that. And you could be meeting someone at this get together, you know, and you have a little heart here and little dashes showing that like your heart's going to be amplified here. You're going to feel lots of love around you, surrounded by love. Chinese year of the cat, Aries. 
yeah, maybe you were dealing with some stuff like cardiovascular or, you know, anxiety, stuff like that, your chest feeling tight. You know, maybe you were going through some panic attacks or anxiety attacks, but I feel like that's all getting better here. Letter A, self-sufficient, I'm hearing. And there's a slide here. So it's it's all about having fun. You know what I mean? Like just getting out of your comfort zone, having fun, living, living in, I'm hearing living the day away. You know what I mean? Just like living in the present moment. Number seven, again. So seven represents luck, spirituality, the seventh house. So it could have to do with like partnerships, relationships in your life. Represents Libra. You know, Libra season could be significant with this cup as well. And there's something about like overcoming fears and not being put in like, like not being trapped and put in like a third party situation here. They're saying to be careful of that. You know, don't be like the third wheel of anything here. Like stand your ground. I'm seeing a mosquito here. A lot of oh, bugs here that are like pests. So mosquito, you know, they're succubuses, like they suck blood out of you, you know, and blood is one of the most sacred things in this life. So it's like something with your blood. Someone could be sucking the life out of you, sucking your energy, you know, sacrificing. Maybe you're sacrificing something here. And you had the hanged man before. So it's like you did enough sacrificing now. Like it's time for you to receive now. Chinese of the tiger. Yeah, seven is seven, seven, seven. You could be seeing a lot. That's the number for this cup. Yeah, there's something about bricks being laid here. You know, the concrete, like building something very sturdy, very important here. It is connected to the eagle spirit, so it's triumph over troubles here. You know? And I just heard, like a bridge over trouble waters, I will lay me down. Like a bridge over troubled waters. Yeah, like that. So. Yeah, your spirit guides are helping you, helping you build a new foundation here. We do have a star, wish come true. We have the crescent moon here. Maybe something's happening around the new moon for you, you know? And if you're watching this in real time, it could be literally on the 5th, which is the Leo new moon. Oh, we have black tourmaline here. We have, you, there's something connected with that. And black tourmaline represents protection, right? Pretty much. There's a lots of things with the black tourmaline. But when you think of black tourmaline or any black stone, it really does have a lot to do with protection. But this is the thing. You don't want to be too shielded and protected. I know that sounds bizarre, but it's, you know, I learned this recently. Well, when I got healing done with this couple, I don't know if I talked about this. But I'm not going to go into it. But um, the man that was healing me with his partner, he was exp he said something very specific. And it was very uh, enlightening to me. You know, it kind of opened my eyes up a little bit when he said that. So he said, you don't want to be a shield. Right? He goes, because shields still take impact. So like, just imagine like you're holding a shield, right? Like how they used to do back then. Even if you're holding the shield, it doesn't guarantee that you're being protected, right? Because arrows can go through it, a sword, you could still get hurt and, you know, you can get damaged, right? So you're still getting the impact of whatever this is, even if you're shielded. So you want to be more in the energy of being transparent, like not having all these walls up and being, you know, that nobody's allowed to come near you and you're just taking the impact, right? And you're just absorbing it. 
you want to be transparent with where things go through you. Like you're, you're, you're in flow with everything. Not so guarded up. We have a flower here, but this is um, a chrysanthemum opening up like the Japanese flower is very beautiful here. So you're, you're opening up, you're blossoming here. It's giving me um, uh, the Rose of Jericho as well. So that could be significant as well. Spirit opening up. A spirit protecting you, allowing you to open up freely and to not be scared. I just heard, I love you. So it's very beautiful here. So we have a, a letter S here. Could be represented as a five as well. Change, big change here. And something's happening very quickly here with this arrow. You know, and it is going south. So something could be going south in your life, but it's it's all about this change. It's change for the better here. It also could represent news coming at you very quickly. And it could be coming from the past. We have a wizard here. Look at this. What is, you know, his wand directing you, divinely guiding you. And this wizard is manipulating the stars in the sky. So this could represent, you know, magic, like the stars aligning for you perfectly for you to move forward here. You know what I mean? Like this wizard, this God, you know, this entity, because we all are God. All of us are God. That's what God wanted us to know, you know? So it's it's tapping into that that energy that we are all one, one consciousness here, living multiple facets of life, of God. So this is like manipulating the sky to work in your favor here. It's, it's magic, alchemy. And we have letter Q. Um, and I just want to get advice. That's it. And we're going to close this out. Hmm. It's not the cards I wanted. Where is my cards? Let me see. Ah, no, no, no. Oh, it's right here. This is what I wanted. Just a little message. Don't be a problem solver. Be a solution allower. Here's your card. Practice the art of allowing. Get in touch with your inner being and activate your own guidance system. And underneath we have abundance. Abundance is on its way. Abundance is on its way as much as you'll allow. Be open to receiving. Look at that. Especially Leo, Leo season. The abundance is coming. So get ready for that. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Namaste. Love and light.